Okay, this is one on uh, microinverters for solar panels. Now, I have, uh, I'll give you some background here. I have a solar system consisting of 56 panels. And that means there's 28 microinverters on the roof. Now, it's true that when you deal with a lot of parts, 28 is quite a number of parts, there's going to be more problems. Uh, I always figured if you had one part, you got one problem. If you got two parts, you got two problems and along up. Well, that is kind of showing to be true. I've had one of the microinverters on the system fail. This is AP Systems YC600. Each one of these microinverters handles two solar panels of about 400 watts apiece. So I noticed the output on one of my subarrays. Uh, my subarrays are all 14 panels. There's four 14 panel subarrays. Uh, its output was reduced. I went on to uh, the AP Systems website and it was showing that these were dead that there were two panels were dead. So that meant probably one microinverter had failed. So I went ahead, went up on the roof, and uh, pulled loose a couple of panels to where I could get to that microinverter, check the output of the panels, and the output of the panels was 35 volts DC, which it should have been, but there was no output. Uh, from the inverter. Now the inverter converts the 35 volts DC into 240 volts AC. So there was no output coming from. So I went ahead and contacted the company. They sent me a replacement uh, inverter. So these are not the easiest thing in the world to replace. Uh, yeah, it's not a monster deal, but it's <laughs> this old man is getting a little tougher. Anyway, uh, so I want to kind of go over what it took to replace this thing. And uh, so I, I removed the panels, uh, moved them aside where I could get to everything. And interesting thing about, about this, uh, I started removing the wires. There's little clippy things that uh, are used primarily for solar uh, to clip the wires from the panels themselves to the inverter. Well, that clip on one of them would not release. Now, I, it had released, you know, when I diagnosed the problem, it did fine, but I could not get it. Everything I tried, I could not get it. I, I had to go in there and cut off part of the connector. And of course I was able to do that on the inverter side because the inverter was being replaced. But anyway, that was a genuine pain in the tail to deal with. I did get it done. Uh, you can see it's rather butchered up there. Uh, and so I continued on with that. I mounted the new inverter. Now the new inverter is a DS3-S. It's a different model number. It's a little different design. Of course they put the output wire on it on the opposite side as the original one was. Thank you very much. That made it a pain in the butt. But I got that dealt with. Then there's a plug-in that takes the 240 volts output of the inverter to uh, my solar system, to the combiner and so on of the solar system, is a plug that you, you plug it in and it's, it won't come out. You have to have a special tool to get it to come loose. And you get a tool with it. And I had the tool, so I released the original one. And then when I went up to hook the other one, it fit, but it would not lock. 
I mean, I've tried everything to lock it. There's no way I can get the silly thing to lock. So, you can see what I've done. I've had to take uh, straps and nylon straps and kind of tie the silly thing together. So, uh, that was a genuine pain in the butt. I did finally get that done, and when everything was done, it actually worked okay. But, my outlook on the microinverters is a bit less than it was when I started. I think if I had the, my druthers, I would take DC off the roof and put it down to an inverter uh, for uh, the entire, uh, either subarray or the entire array, what, however it's set up. And so microinverters, yeah, they're guaranteed for 25 years. We'll see if the company's still there in 25 years. In 25 years, they'll probably be dead anyway, so who cares? But uh, I hope we don't have any future failures of these because this was a pain. It, it didn't take a huge time to replace it. You know, it was probably an hour and a half. And a younger man would have got it done much faster than me. But uh, just the problems with connections and so on with it made this thing kind of a, kind of distasteful to have to do. It should not have been that way. It should have worked normally. Anyway, that's it on this one. Any questions, put them in the comments. Love to hear them. See ya.